You know, if you've ever been tested for COVID-19, you'll know that the manual swab test, it's not exactly the most uh, pleasant experience. Mm, now, clinicians in Singapore claim there's a better way to do the test, well, by using a robot. Mm. Called the SwabBot, it lets patients fully control the entire swabbing process. How it works is once the operator for the robot has actually already uh, put on the disposable nose piece and the disposable drapes, the patient would then come forward to the robot, comfortably sit themselves and put the, the disposable nose piece at eye level, hold on to the robot and then put the nasal nest onto the disposable nose piece. And once they are ready, they can push against the chin activator for the robot to actually perform the nasal pharyngeal swab. So it's really so only when the patient is ready that the, the, the robot swap will actually be performed. There's a force and a pressure sensor that if it goes a certain pressure, that means it actually hit, for example, any of the nasal structures like the nasal septum or the turbinates, it would actually re, um, stop the swap and the swap stick will actually retract. Um, so those, these are some of the safety features. The benefits of SwapBot, we feel there are a few. Number one is that it reduces the exposure of healthcare workers to uh, patients who are potentially COVID-19 positive. Um, number two is that it maintains some form of standard for, um, for swabbing. Um, um, so it reduces the inter-performer uh, variability. Number three is that it is much more comfortable and this has from our clinical trials that are still ongoing and shown that it is statistically significant. And number four, as you can imagine, it's a robot. It's tireless. So it can, you can actually perform swaps on people 24 hours a day. We are still ongoing clinical trials. Uh, we still need to recruit uh, more patients to actually show that the robot is good and more comfortable. We've gotten HSA approval and we are waiting for commercial. Specialization.